Hi all and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to use the MPEG-H authoring tools 3D Penner. Now, let's have a look. To show you how the 3D object panel works, I just added a sound effect on channel 14 or our fourth audio object. In this case, it's just a simple sound of a helicopter in mono. And now I add a new component. In this case, it's a new audio object and we'll call it helicopter. And I will just add this helicopter into our no commentary preset. And make sure that I'm monitoring the no commentator preset, which I could also check here. So now we ensure that we are monitoring. And now let's write the automation. For this, we're going into the automation lane of Pro Tools and just select all the different possible par parameters. And now we can enlarge the 3D pan of view here. And we can actually also and still enlarge it a little bit. And now we can select our object, this one here, and enable the right mode in our third order ambisonics bus. And now we can start with to play back our content. And now, finally, pan our helicopter. And of course, we can also Check this out here. When we go into the fourth object in azimuth and elevation, move this windows a little bit to the side, and now we can see that there is automation data. And of course, this can be more accurate written here. So just check it out how it sounds. This is how you can pan audio objects in 3D space using the 3D panner included in the MPEG-H authoring plugin. So thanks a lot for watching and happy panning!